Thomas. Hi. Um, since I've arrived, I've heard a lot and spoken to a lot of people about the demise of Bayern Munich. But what is demise? Exactly, like the kind of the lessening from where Bayern Munich should be, falling from where they rightfully should be at the top. How, how, do, you, how do you assess the situation here? Is it as bad as all of that? Yes, but what, what does demise say it again, please? Demise is just falling down in terms of performance, in terms of <laughs> confidence, in terms of league position. I'm, that, that's all. To whom did you talk? Well, lots of people since I've been really? here. Really? Yeah. Talk I'm, to other people. Yeah. I know. I'm crazy. <laughs> need I'm to on my own as a journalist doing that. But you like, need to talk to other people. You, um, yeah, but what is the situation here? Is it accurate at all or not? I don't feel a club in demise. I feel a club in change, very natural, because big leaders have left the club. And uh, we have a change um, in, in the management. Um, so there is a lot of change, and we need, to, we need a bit of time that we never have, I know, but we need a bit of time to adjust things. Um, I can understand maybe if, uh, if you mean like it's, it's a bit surprising that in the last three years Bayern was never in the cup final, never in the cup semi-final, but still they managed to be like, what, ten, ten times in a row uh, German champions. They're like three times in a row in the quarter-final uh, of, of uh, Champions League. If this is a club in demise, it's demise, the word is demise. If this is a club in demise, I think a lot, a lot of clubs want to be in demise. Uh, I don't have the feeling. I have the feeling I work in a strong club, in a strong club with huge ambitions. We have to calm it down and at the same time push it to the limits because then everything is possible in this club and this is my, my feeling and my belief.